Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. <sighs> Man, I ain't gonna lie. Let's be honest, the headlines about Diddy's arrest have shocked everyone. But was it really a surprise? What if we told you that everything we've seen so far could be part of a bigger game? One that involves betrayal from someone very close to Diddy? Someone like Jay-Z? Could Diddy, one of the most powerful figures in the music industry, have been set up by his own friend and collaborator? It sounds wild, but rumors are swirling that this arrest wasn't just a coincidence. It might have been orchestrated by those in his inner circle. All right, that's my initial reaction because that's how I always feel when I see situations like this. And then there's this like this this weird sense of grief because it is Diddy, right? Diddy is a hip hop hero. He's an ordinary person who did extraordinary things. To sit here and act like the man wasn't a huge part of our upbringing is a damn lie. So there, there's this weird sense of grief. Like another one of our heroes has ruined their legacy and it's their own fault because of poor choices? It all started with Diddy's sudden relocation to New York. Now, on the surface, it seemed like he was just preparing for an inevitable confrontation with the law. His lawyer, Mark Agnafillo, even made a statement about it. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, a self-made entrepreneur, and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. But here's the thing. Day's arrest in a Manhattan hotel wasn't as straightforward as the official narrative might suggest. I have uh, information that he was arrested tonight at a Manhattan hotel. He is currently being processed. I heard from his attorney they are still maintaining his innocence. They said that in anticipation of these charges that Diddy relocated to New York last week. On the night of the arrest, federal agents moved in on Diddy's hotel in New York City, reportedly taking him into custody without much resistance. The charges had been looming over him for months, and many were expecting something like this to happen. But still, the timing, the location, and the circumstances all seem a little too convenient, right? Especially for someone as experienced as Diddy, who had managed to avoid serious legal trouble for decades despite a career steeped in controversy. It makes you wonder, how could he have been caught so easily? If you're just joining us here, was just arrested and taken into federal custody in New York tonight. Sources tell TMZ Homeland Security swooped into a Midtown Hotel late Monday where Diddy was staying and they arrested him. Fans and insiders quickly started speculating that there was more to the story than what met the eye. Why would Diddy come back to New York if he knew he was going to be arrested? Some even believe that he knew he was walking into a trap, but was led to believe that he had a chance to clear his name or maybe even make a deal to keep his freedom. That's when the name Jay-Z comes into play. Okay, this is what I mean when I say people wake up every day and just volunteer lies. Diddy, how are we supposed to believe anything that comes out of your mouth? And furthermore, why should we not believe the rumors of things going in your mouth when you out here volunteering bold-faced lies? Mm -hmm. You would still be lying to us right now if it was no video. You didn't even apologize to Cassie in the video. For years, Diddy and Jay-Z have been seen as rivals, allies, and sometimes both. Their friendship has always been a complicated one, full of moments where they seem to lift each other up, but also times when their competitive nature couldn't be ignored. Jay-Z himself has admitted this, once saying, we push each other, we inspire each other. It's just a beautiful relationship of natural competitiveness. But what if that competitiveness went too far? Could Jay-Z, knowing the storm Diddy was about to face, have seen an opportunity to distance himself from the chaos and secure his own position in the industry? One theory making the rounds online suggests that Jay-Z might have played a key role in Diddy's downfall, not by directly turning him in, but by manipulating him into walking right into the hands of law enforcement. Imagine this, Diddy, already aware that the legal heat was closing in, receives a phone call from none other than Jay-Z. Maybe Jay-Z offered him a way out, a deal with the FBI, perhaps. A promise that if Diddy cooperated, things would go easier for him. It's not far-fetched when you consider the influence and connections someone like Jay-Z could wield behind the scenes. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap. And Diddy, desperate to protect what's left of his legacy, takes the bait. He comes to New York thinking he's about to negotiate some sort of settlement or cooperation. Instead, he walks straight into the hotel where federal agents are waiting. They arrest him without any drama. And suddenly, Diddy is in custody while Jay-Z remains untouched by the scandal, continuing his life as one of the biggest power players in the music world. The question on everyone's mind is, did Jay-Z tip off the authorities? Or did he simply let events unfold, knowing that with Diddy out of the picture, his own empire would continue to grow uncontested? So why does why does Puffy, why does it all come to a head now? Why, why now? Why? Because he's the acceptable monster.
at this time, like R. Kelly was the last time I sat on this couch. Hmm. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup? Oh, yeah, no. This wouldn't be the first time Jay-Z has been linked to shady dealings behind the scenes. His rise to power in the music industry has always been shadowed by rumors, and while he's never been caught up in anything as scandalous as Diddy's current situation, people close to both of them have noted how Jay-Z has a way of navigating trouble while keeping his hands clean. He's the ultimate businessman, after all. And in business, sometimes even friendships become collateral damage. So what about Diddy Circle? Let's not forget that Diddy wasn't acting alone all these years. He's been surrounded by an entourage of loyal followers, but loyalty in the world of power and money is often up for sale. Rumors are swirling that some of Diddy's closest associates might have played a role in setting him up. Whether it was out of fear for their own futures or a calculated move to save themselves, the idea that members of Diddy's inner circle could have been working with law enforcement isn't too hard to believe. Uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. Take, for example, the various lawsuits and allegations that have been piling up against Diddy. While he's managed to dodge many of them with settlements, the sheer volume of accusations over the years, from violent behavior to illegal activities, suggests that there are people in his life who know a lot more than they're letting on. Could it be that some of these insiders, perhaps people Diddy trusted for years, decided it was time to cut ties and cooperate with authorities in exchange for their own immunity? It wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like this happen in the celebrity world. Is there any possibility that he walks away clean from this, that everything is dropped and he faces no charges or any prison time? Not impossible. I mean, anything is possible. But I, I don't see that happening. I see him kind of going the path of R. Kelly, where again, for so many decades, he was able to act with impunity and just, you know, with harming so many, uh, you know, young women. The theory that Diddy was framed by those closest to him gains even more traction when you consider the timing of his arrest. Why did it take so long for law enforcement to move in, especially when the accusations against him had been mounting for months? Some believe that this delay was intentional, giving his inner circle enough time to distance themselves and negotiate their own deals with the authorities. By the time Diddy arrived in New York, it was already too late for him to do anything but play into their hands. I think industry talk, there's a lot of people who, you know, who have worked for him. There's been stories around, which is, you know, not necessarily unusual. One name that keeps coming up in these rumors is none other than Rodney Lilrod Jones, a former associate of Diddy who recently filed his own lawsuit against the music mogul. Jones's claims about the hidden cameras in Diddy's properties and the secret recordings of powerful figures doing questionable things have added fuel to the fire. According to Jones, Diddy had compromising footage of celebrities, executives, and athletes at his infamous parties, footage that could destroy careers. Some speculate that Diddy's arrest could be connected to this footage and that Jay-Z, along with other big names, wanted to make sure none of it ever saw the light of day. But here's the twist. What if Jay-Z and others in Diddy's circle didn't just want to protect themselves from the fallout of these recordings? What if they saw an opportunity to remove Diddy from the equation, entirely securing their own futures in the process? By handing Diddy over to the authorities, they could ensure that any potential threats to their reputations were neutralized while simultaneously taking down one of their biggest competitors in the industry. He, you, don't, you pay those lawyers to know. Those lawyers know what he's going to beat, and those lawyers know what he ain't going to beat. It's a theory that's gaining traction with each passing day, especially as more details about Diddy's arrest come to light. The way it all went down, the quick settlement of Cassie's lawsuit, the sudden raids on Diddy's properties, and the whispers about Jay-Z's involvement paints a picture of a carefully orchestrated takedown. And if Jay-Z was indeed involved, it would mark one of the biggest betrayals in the history of hip hop. Think about it. Two of the most influential figures in the music industry, once friends and collaborators, now caught up in a high stakes game of power and survival. Diddy, trapped in a web of accusations and legal troubles, and Jay-Z, potentially pulling the strings behind the scenes behind the scenes to ensure his own empire remains untouched. It's the kind of story that could only happen in the world of celebrity, where loyalty is fleeting and betrayal is just another move in the game. Mm. Oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Diddy, a.k.a. Mr. Love. Now, Dr. No, Love. Sean Carter. Oh, 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 Jay, Jay, okay, okay. So as the rumors continue to swirl and more information comes to light, one thing is clear, this is far from over. Diddy might be in custody, but the real story of how he got there is still unfolding. And whether or not Jay-Z was directly involved, his name will forever be linked to the downfall of one of his oldest friends. As fans, we can only sit back and watch as the drama continues to unfold, wondering who will come out on top in this game of power, betrayal, and survival. But here's the thing. Even if Diddy was framed, many argue that he's far from an innocent victim. In fact, some would say he had this coming all along. Think about it. Over the years, Diddy has been at the center of numerous controversies, and this latest arrest is just the culmination of a long history of a long history of allegations and shady behavior. 
While it might be easy to get caught up in the drama of a potential betrayal by Jay-Z or his inner circle, the reality is that Diddy's troubles run much deeper. Everything that you're looking at, they're all tied in together. Every part, as crazy as it seems, as outrageous as it seems, it all ties in. Every bit of Diddy's career started in the early 1990s, and from the get-go, he was seen as a force to be reckoned with. As a record executive, producer, and entrepreneur, he built Bad Boy Records into a powerhouse, helping launch the careers of artists like the Notorious of Artists, like the Notorious by G, Faith Evans, and many others. But with that success came whispers of darker dealings behind the scenes. There were always rumors that Diddy wasn't just a businessman, he was someone who knew how to play the game, and not always by the rules. His aggressive, take-no-prisoners approach to the music industry left a trail of enemies, and with enemies come accusations. Over the years, Diddy's name has been attached to a string of incidents that paint a picture of a man who's used to operating outside the lines, from his infamous nightclub altercation in 1999 to allegations of intimidating rivals, Diddy has always seemed to be walking on the edge of controversy. And while he's never been convicted of anything too serious, the rumors have never really gone away. Well, one of the things that's going to happen, and I do believe that there has been a grand jury investigation that has been employed in this case. I think there may be a federal investigation going on, and there may be a stateside one, but I'm not totally sure. But one of the things that the prosecution in any case is going to try to do is show that there is a pattern of behavior here. One of the most infamous incidents from Diddy's past was the 1999 nightclub incident in New York, where a scuffle led to shots being fired and three people getting injured. Diddy, along with then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and his protege Shine, was caught up in the chaos. While Shine ended up serving time, Diddy walked away relatively unscathed, claiming he had no involvement in the violence. But many people never quite bought that story. There were whispers that Diddy had used his influence and connections to avoid serious consequences, leaving Shine to take the fall. It was just one example of how Diddy seemed to always find a way to come out on top, no matter how bad the situation looked. The money that they're saying Diddy has to start paying this guy on October 1st, right. Diddy's team is like, hold on, uh-uh, we need an emergency conversation about why this sh should not have been granted. Mm -hmm. And they awarded him a TRO, uh, which basically meant that Diddy's team was not allowed to sell any property in that state or anything related to what could be used to pay the plaintiff. Fast forward a few years, and Diddy's reputation for aggressive business tactics had only grown. The music industry is known for being cutthroat, but Diddy took it to a new level. There were rumors of backdoor deals, intimidation, and even allegations that he'd sabotaged other artists' careers to maintain his dominance. Some industry insiders have suggested that Diddy's real power lay not just in his talent as a producer, but in his ability to control the narrative, whether by paying people off or using fear to keep potential threats in line. New at five, the legal troubles continue for Sean Diddy Combs tonight after a judge ordered the music mogul to pay $100 million to a Michigan man who says that he was assaulted by Combs in 97. According to court documents, Derek Cardello Smith says Combs and then assaulted him during an after party at a Holiday Inn in Detroit. But Combs never responded to the lawsuit in court. In fact, many of the legal battles Diddy has faced over the years have been settled quietly, leading some to wonder just how much dirty laundry has been swept under the rug. For example, the countless lawsuits involving former employees and associates who claimed they were mistreated or financially wronged by Diddy have often ended in undisclosed settlements. This pattern of avoiding public trials has only fueled speculation that Diddy had something to hide and that money was being used to keep the truth from coming out. Named seven, Diddy 77 times in court documents related to Tupac. But the rumors don't stop there. Some fans and industry insiders believe that Diddy may have had deeper ties to law enforcement than anyone realized. There has been speculation for years that Diddy was acting as an informant for the FBI, which could explain why he managed to avoid serious legal trouble for so long. These theories suggest that Diddy might have been feeding information to authorities in exchange for protection, which would certainly make sense given his ability to maneuver through the countless allegations and scandals unscathed. The theory that Diddy was working with the FBI gained traction after a series of high-profile incidents seemed to point to his possible cooperation with law enforcement. One such incident involved the shooting demise of the notorious B.I.G. in 1997, a tragedy that shook the entire hip-hop community. While Diddy has always maintained that he had no knowledge of who was behind the shooting, some believe that he knew more than he let on. In fact, there are rumors that Diddy may have been working with authorities in the aftermath of Biggie's demise to help bring down certain individuals connected to the case. Of course, none of this has ever been proven, but the idea that Diddy was somehow protected by law enforcement continues to linger. This theory becomes even more intriguing when you consider Diddy's long-standing rivalry with Suge Knight, 
the infamous co-founder of Death Row Records. Their feud, which began in the mid-1990s during the height of the East Coast-West Coast rap wars, was one of the most notorious in the music industry. The only man currently facing murder charges in the case, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, claims that Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, paid for a hit on Tupac. While Diddy and Suge have both played down the intensity of their beef in recent years, there's no denying that their conflict led to violence, paranoia, and eventually the demises of both Shakur and Biggie Smalls. Some have speculated that Diddy's alleged cooperation with the FBI could have been motivated by a desire to protect himself from Suge and his associates, ensuring that he stayed one step ahead of his enemies. Of course, these are all just theories, rumors that have been floating around for years, but which have never been substantiated. But if even a fraction of these allegations are true, it paints a picture of a man who's been playing a dangerous game for decades, one where power, influence, and fear have kept him out of trouble. And now, as the walls close in, it seems like Diddy might finally be paying the price for all the things he's gotten away with in the past. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was f***ed up. But let's not forget, Diddy's reputation isn't just built on alleged criminal activity. He's also been accused of ruthless business practices and exploiting those around him. Former Bad Boy Records artists have spoken out about how they were treated under Diddy's leadership, with many claiming that they were financially taken advantage of. For example, artists like Maze have publicly called out Diddy for withholding royalties and keeping them locked in unfavorable contracts, preventing them from benefiting from their own success. Mays even went as far as accusing Diddy of hypocrisy, saying that while Diddy publicly advocates for black ownership and empowerment, he privately undermines the very artists who helped build his empire. Criminal investigation for months by federal prosecutors here in New York. And if there are criminal charges, many of them may look a lot like what some of these individuals have been describing. The irony of Diddy's downfall lies in the fact that for so long, he seemed untouchable. Even when rumors and allegations whirled, nothing ever stuck. He was always one step ahead, able to escape the consequences that others would have faced for the same behavior. But now, with this arrest and the mounting evidence against him, it seems like Diddy's luck may have finally run out. The industry that once protected him is turning its back and those closest to him are distancing themselves, perhaps fearing that they'll be caught in the fallout. While the rumors of a setup by Jay-Z and others are compelling, they also point to a deeper truth. Diddy, despite his wealth and influence, made too many enemies along the way. Whether it's former business partners, artists he's wronged, or rivals from the music industry, there's no shortage of people who would love to see Diddy brought down. And now, it appears that the forces aligned against him have finally succeeded in doing what no one thought was possible, putting him in a position where he can't talk or pay his way out. Yeah, that's why, of course. There's layers upon layers. <laughs> when you get it, it's conspiracy theories man they they never end they never end there's just layers upon layers upon layers but the biggest question remains if diddy was truly cooperating with law enforcement all these years why didn't that protect him now some believe that diddy's downfall could be the result of a broken agreement with the fbi maybe he stopped cooperating or maybe he became too much of a liability for them to continue shielding him others think that this arrest is part of a larger conspiracy to remove him from power orchestrated by people in both the music industry and law enforcement who saw Diddy as a threat. And while it's easy to focus on Diddy's own mistakes and questionable past, the possibility that he's been framed by those closest to him adds a layer of tragedy to the story. If Jay-Z and Diddy's other associates truly did betray him, it would mark one of the most significant betrayals in hip hop history, a story that would be talked about for years to come. Well, that's the interesting part here. And so what the plaintiff in this case did was filed for what we call a temporary restraining order, which would have prevented Diddy or would prevent him from selling that Los Angeles home. And so we know, or at least we believe that that TRO was granted to enjoin or stop him from selling that home. But let's not forget, no matter what the truth is about Jay-Z's involvement or the actions of Diddy's inner circle, Diddy himself is not without blame. He built his empire on a foundation of controversy, manipulation, and alleged criminal behavior. He's played a dangerous game for years, and now, whether he was framed or not, it seems like that game is finally catching up with him. The arrest might have been the final move in a complex game of chess, but Diddy's role in his own downfall cannot be overlooked. He's been given chance after chance to reform, to distance himself from the chaos, and to build a legacy that wasn't tainted by scandal. Instead, he chose to continue playing with fire, and now he's getting burned. So as the dust settles and more details emerge, the real question we're left with is this. Was Diddy's fate sealed by his own actions, or did those he trusted most turn against him when it mattered most? And if Jay-Z and others truly played a role in his downfall, will they be able to live with the consequences of their betrayal, knowing that they might have taken down one of the most powerful figures in hip-hop history? 
Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.